Hello everyone! I'm talking today about the printers involved in 3D printing and what you can get for your money these days if you want to get into 3D printing and buy a 3D printer for yourself. Uh, you have, roughly speaking, about three different scales of printers. So you've got, um, let's see here, I'm going to get a little more space so you can see um, exactly what I'm talking about here. So this is a small printer. A, it has about a four inch cylindrical print bed. Uh, so you can get, it gets about four inch tall, a little bit more than that, and then four inch wide, um, but it's a cylinder, so you're kind of limited there. Um, and this costs about $160 pre-assembled, shipped right to your door. So that's pretty darn cool. Uh, and it takes standard open source software, free software, no problems there. Um, that's about the cheapest I found for desktop 3D printers that aren't a kit. You don't have to assemble anything. I would definitely not recommend you start with a kit for a 3D printer as your first printer because, I mean, A, it's a lot of work, and B, if you misalign anything, you can cause the printer to burn itself out. Uh, not in the sense of, like, flames and burning your house down but in the sense of like a um a drive pushing something against something else such that the the, the motor gets uh, uh, burned out it, it stops working because it's trying to to move in a direction it can't move so it just stops working uh so 160 bucks is about the cheapest i found the sort of standard going price right now for a uh cheaper printer is about 200 bucks so here for example is a um, about a two hundred dollar three D printer has a four inch cube print area. I'm currently in the middle of servicing it, so you can see some of the things on here. Normally, this would be up here, on uh, around to here, and there'd be a uh, some filament going into it. But this is the basic idea behind a two hundred dollar three D printer, and you can see this this kind of goes back and forth. The bed goes, or the, the printer goes, print head goes back and forth here, and then this can go up and down, uh, this actual gantry here. So, standard $200 3D printer. Moving up from there, you have these sort of scale and style of 3D printers. Uh, so if you're looking to spend something in the $400 to $500 range, you can get a printer that is uh, sort of an open form, open, you know, uh, design printer. It will generally have like a six to eight inch print bed and it can usually handle more materials than one of the smaller print printers. So it can be much more uniform in its, um, in its heat signature. So it's going to stick at that 200 degrees Celsius or whatever you're, gonna, you're driving it to. And you get a lot more basically, um, a lot more flexibility for your budget there and a larger print area. Um, and they're normally this, again, sort of open design with a couple of different uh, metal frames around them. And that's going to be, again, $400, $500 or so for about a 6 to 8 inch um, print area. And generally speaking, these are also a little more solid. You know, because of their, their larger size and larger construction, um, they'll last a little longer than one of these smaller printers. Uh, and then in the middle here, you see something closer where you'd, you'd spend for about $1,000. Um, and this will be a, a larger print bed, you know, 10 inches or so. And it is an enclosed or partially enclosed metal structure. So this is not, um, you know, I can stick my hand in here, um, but it's, it's got metal on all, all the sides of the cube, which means it's very, very solid in structure. Um, and it's going to last a very long time. So you get larger print area, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to last for years, potentially. Um, the downside being that it's $1,000. So... You know, if you get a printer that you're not happy with, that's a lot of money for something that's a, a, uh, a big investment uh, that may not work well for you. So my general recommendation is start with a less expensive printer, play around with it. You know, there's plenty you can do in four inches. Um, and that is um, something you can experiment with and understand and then move on to a larger printer if you want to. So again, generally speaking, about 200 bucks for a smaller printer 500 bucks or so for a middle range printer, and then 800 to 1,000 for a, uh, a higher end. You can spend a lot more than that on a printer. 
uh, especially some of the European printers, are much more expensive, $1,500, $2,000, but they are extremely well designed. Like They are not going anywhere, uh, and they will churn out parts over and over and over again. They're not going to jam. They're not going to have any issues. Whereas some of these other printers, you'll probably have to replace the nozzle occasionally, and you may have to... You, you may have uh, problems here and there that need occasional replacement parts where those more expensive printers, they will just last forever. And you're paying for that. So that's basically what we have there in terms of the designs. Um, and there are other designs as well, but these are some of the, the more popular, more common layouts for them. So if you're looking to get into printers, uh, that's some information. I hope that's useful. And uh, I'll be making more of these soon.